chose letter number two and three, then sew them together. So the holes on letter number two. The length of thread used to sew the holes on letter number two will be four times of thread that equal to the length of letter number two. For example, it's one time of thread that equal to the length of letter number two. Now you can take four times of thread that equal to the length of letter number two. Use the scissors to cut the thread tips. You can use a sideway cut. Fold the wax thread in half. The sewing mess, we use the double needle saw mess. Tells us we need to make two sides of thread and needle together. Tips. Make a hole in the middle of the thread with the needles, then pull the thread through the pin hole and pull the long thread. So the holes on the letter number 2 and 3, letter number 2 should be on the top of the letter number 3 when you saw it. So the first hole on the last number 2 and 3, then make sure the length of the thread should be in the same. Use a needle that is at the bottom side of the both letter, then use the needle for the button to top the throw the second hole on the letter number 2 and 3. Then use the needle that is on the top side of the piece of the letter to make it through the second hole. Since you saw the holes, you need to make sure that it's tight. You can use the same source mask before to sew all the holes on the letter. After you finish saw all the holes, you manage to use the needle through the last two holes and cut their throat. Note, to keep a little bit of thread when cutting it, and two needles should be on the same side of the letter. To make it tight and beautiful, we need to use a lighter to fire it, but do not burn the letter, please. Holes letter number one, put on letter number two, and make sure the holes on the letter number one match with the holes on the letter number two. So the hole on the right side of the letter number one, you need to use the five times of thread that are equal to the length of the right side of the letter number one.
Guess the number four with the two and solve them together. Left and number two should be on the top of the left number four. Lungs of the swell used to solve this house on the letter number 2 and the 4 will be 2 times of the swell that are equal to the lungs of the letter number 4. Now you can use the same source method before to solve the all the holes on the letter. And do the same as the other side. Sew the holes in between letter number 4 and 2. The longs of thread used to sew those holes in the between letter number 2 and 4 will be 5 times of thread that equal to the longs of the letter number 4. Now you can use the same saw mask as before to sew all the holes in the letter. The lungs of Australia to sew those holes in the between letter number 6 will be 9 times of thread that equal to the lungs of letter number 6. Close the last number 5 and the ring and make them together, then fold the letter in the half. Close the holes on the letter number 5, except the holes on the left side of the letter. The lungs of a thread used to sew the holes in the between of the last number 5 will be 8 times of thread that quality to the lungs of the last number 5. Now you can use the same saw mask before you sew all the holes in the letter.
show the lesson number five, six, seven, and eight. Solve them together. To solve the holes on the lesson number four. The length of thread used to sew the holes in the between lesson number 7 will be 20 times of a sew that is equal to the length of lesson number 7. Close the lesson number 8, put on the lesson number 7, and make them exactly match each other, then use the clap to fix two pieces of letter. Please check and make sure there are four large holes on the letter. Then make the letter number 5 and 6 in the middle of the letter number 7 and 8 and match them with the four larger holes. Mix the last number 5 in the middle of the last number 7 and 8 and match them with the 3 holes on the last number 7 and 8. Now you can do the same saw mask before to saw all the holes on the letter. Close the lesson number 8 and 4 to solve them together. The length of thread used to solve the holes on the lesson number 4 will be the 12 times of the thread that equal to the length of the lesson number 4. You do not need to solve the first hole and the last hole with the lesson number 8 together. Only solve the second hole on the lesson number 4 and the first hole lesson number 8 together.
Now you can use the same sort as before to sew all the holes on the letter. Choose the letter number 9 and sew the hole on the top of the letter number 9. The lengths of the thread used to sew the holes on the top of the letter number 9 will be 4 times of thread that are equal to the lengths of the letter number 9. Draw the letter number 10 and match them together and sew the holes on the right inside of the letter number 10. The lengths of a thread used to sew the holes on the top of the letter number 10 will be 6 times of a thread equal to the lengths of the letter number 10. Choose let 11 and 12, sew them together, but the ring on the both sides are different, the ring on the left side are square ring, the ring on the right side are D-rings. Use let number 11, throw the hole on D-ring and fold the letter in half. Let 11 to match the hole on the letter 12, to sew the hole in the middle of the letter 12. The length of a thread used to sew the hole in the middle of the letter 12 to the A times the thread to that required to sew the length of letter 12. Now you can use the same sewing method before you sew all the holes on the both of the letter. To sew the letter number 10 and letter number 11 for the holes on the bottom of the letter 12. The length of the thread used to sew the holes at the bottom of the letter 12 will be 2 times of the thread to that equal to the length of the letter 10.
Now we need to solve the cycle of the holes on the letter number 2 plus 3. The length of a thread used to solve the holes on the letter number 2 plus 3 will be the 9 times of the thread that equal to the length of the letter number 2. The holes in the back cycle are the same. Then we saw this piece of the letter has been relative larger holes, which corresponds to those holes on the letter piece of the letter. Press it on this big hole to sew. Then we saw here there is also a large hole which corresponds to the position of the suture of the other piece of the letter. Now you can use the same saw method before to saw all the holes on the letter. Choose letter number 9 and put it on the letter number 4. Make sure the right corner big holes on the letter number 9 match with the right corner big hole on the letter number 4. The length of the thread used to sew these holes on the letter number 9 will be using 9 times of thread to call the length of the letter number 4. Choose letter number 9 and to make it match with letter number 4 on the bigger holes on the both of pieces of letter, also use a clap to fix the letter. Now you can use the same saw mask before to saw all the holes on the letter.
both last number 13 and saw the top and bottom holes on the letter. Also, you do not choose all the holes that are four corners on the letter. The length of a thread you choose so that the holes on the letter number 13 will be the four times of threads are equal to the length of the letter number 13. Press the last number 13 and make it through the ring on the back and fold the last number 13 in half to sew the holes on the last number 13. The length of a thread you to sew the semicolon holes on the left number 13 will be two times of thread that equal to the length on the left number 13. Now you can use the same sort method before to sew all the holes on the letter. Same step as another side. Make the shoulder strap become together with the back. Thanks for watching and let us know if you have any questions. Choose last number 2 and 3 then sew them together. So those holes on last number 2. The length of thread used to sew the holes on letter number 2 will be 4 times of thread that equal to the length of letter number 2. For example, it's 1 time of thread that equal to the length of letter number 2. Now, you can take 4 times of thread that equal to the length of letter number 2. Use the scissors to cut the thread tips. You can use the sideway cut. Fold the wax road in half. The sewing mask, we use the double needle saw mask. Tells us we need to make two sides of thread and needle together. Tips. Make a hole in the middle of the thread with the needles, then pull the thread through the pin hole and pull the long thread. So the holes on the left number 2 and 3, left number 2 should be on the top of the left number 3 when you saw it. So the first hole on the left number 2 and 3, then make sure the length of the thread should be in the same.
use a needle that at the bottom side of the both letter, then use the needle for the button to top to throw the second hole on the letter number two and three. Then use the needle that on the top side of the piece of the letter to make it through the second hole. Since you saw the holes, you need to make sure that it's tight. You can use the same source mask before to sew all the holes on the letter. After you finish saw all the holes, you manage to use the needle through the last two holes and cut their throat. Note, to keep a little bit of thread when cutting it, and two needles should be on the same side of the letter. To make it tight and beautiful, we need to use a lighter to fire it, but do not burn the letter, please. Show slash number one, put on last number two, and make sure the holes on the last number one match with the holes on the last number two. So the hole on the right side of the last number one, you need to use the five times of thread that are equal to the length of the right side of the last number one. Get letter number 4 with the 2 and saw them together, letter number 2 should be on top of the letter number 4. The length of the thread used to sew this horse on the letter number 2 and the 4 will be 2 times of the thread that are equal to the length of the letter number 4. You can use the same source mask before to saw the all the holes on the letter.
and do the same as the other side. Sew the holes in between letter number 4 and 2. The length of thread used to sew the holes in the between letter number 2 and 4 will be 5 times of thread that is equal to the length of the letter number 4. Now you can use the same sort of math before to sew all the holes in the letter. The length of thread used to sew the holes in the between letter number 6 will be 9 times of thread that is equal to the length of letter number 6. Close the letter number 5 and the ring and make them together, then for the letter and the half. Close the holes on the letter number 5, except the holes on the left side of the letter. The length of the thread used to sew the holes in the between of the letter number 5 will be 8 times of thread that is equal to the length of the letter number 5. Now you can use the same sort math before you sew all the holes in the letter. Show the last number 5, 6, 7, and 8. Sew them together. To sew the holes on the last number 4. The length of thread used to sew the holes in the between last number 7 will be 20 times of the sew that is equal to the length of the last number 7. Show the last number 8, put on the last number 7, and make them exactly match each other. Then use the clap to fix two pieces of letter. Please check and make sure there are four large holes on the letter. Then make the letter number 5 and 6 in the middle of the letter number 7 and 8 and match them with the four larger holes.